Why are we alive? Because it would, there would be no benefit to not being alive. Nope. Therefore, being alive is the point. Your life is the point. Yeah, it is. It's exactly it. I love, I love how Jim Carrey had like an interesting way of looking at it where he said, stop thinking you're a guy witnessing the universe and realize you're the universe experiencing a guy. Oh my God, yeah. That's how it feels. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of um, like what you're hitting on with the um, universal knowledge. Like not knowledge, universal knowledge has been hidden from us or blocked yeah. from us. You know? On purpose. Yeah. So, because honestly, if we could see out of everybody's eyes at once, we would have, I don't know, <laughs> we would have all the answers. It's like, there'll be way too the much point? perspective. What's, what's the point? Yeah. It's like, I often try to see myself through other people. Um, yeah, I, I see other people it. as a mirror. Yeah. You know, like, I'll often be like, that guy smokes too much. I'm like, no, stupid, you smoke too much. You're just you seeing know? it through them. It, exactly. It's because everyone's learning a lesson for you and with you. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. We're learning the same lessons in different ways and different lessons in the same way. Yeah. I, I always try and explain to people when, like, they, they go whole, like, you know, the, the unity of everything. I always try and say, let's, let's, because you're a big space guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was hearing this and I love this. Um, so let's say we can prove that the Big Bang happened. Let's just say one day it's like proven 100%, done, no more questions, the Big Bang happened. Yeah. That would mean that the universe started at a pinpoint. So right now, you are jelly. All of you is jelly. Your blood is jelly. So if I were to cut your finger, is the blood on the floor still jelly or is it something else now? I see. So if the universe expands, is Jupiter no longer Earth? Am I no longer the pinpoint? Because everything was all in one. Yeah. Well, and that there's everything coming from one thing. Yeah. You know, it's like I've often... So I, I had this argument. I love getting in arguments at family gatherings. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I feel like I'm no, like fun. way more woke than the rest <laughs> of my family. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I, I pointed out... Um, that dogs are conscious, right? Yeah. And uh, there's con and a lot of people get confused because there's conscious and self-conscious. Yeah. And those are two very different things. Yeah. But it still feels love and mm -hmm. pain and has curiosities. And maybe it's not building satellites and spaceships to go yeah. to Mars, but it's still like what we have in common is that we're both made out of cells. We both bleed. We both think. Yeah. You know, it's like, Okay, so so we know that um, dogs are alive. Yeah. Um, you look at a tree, it breathes. Yeah. You know, it reproduces. That tree is alive. Is that tree conscious? And uh, we kind of have no way of knowing. But then rocks. Rocks aren't thinking. Yeah. Rocks can't reproduce. But how do we know that rocks aren't conscious? Because... We all came from the same Big Bang Theory yeah. core. It's like since everything's part of the same thing, the thing we have in common is we're all made out of quarks, right? Why do my quarks think yeah. and this TV's quarks doesn't think? It's hilarious that we we assume that life is entirely based off consciousness when as far as we know, as far as we know, everything that's conscious exists on one planet, which means we're an inferior concept in the overall abstract of the universe. But that's because we think. And we think that anything that doesn't think isn't experiencing anything. Isn't alive, isn't doing its... I get what you're saying. Alive. Yeah. So, Jupiter exists. Why does Jupiter exist? Just because, oops, it's there now? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't really... I'm not like fatism or anything, but I don't buy into the fact that it's like, oh, everything just kind of happened. So, go to work tomorrow. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, to me, it's like, well, we are so obsessed with consciousness. That's why we get existential crises and we get scared of death and we try and understand, was there a time before time and will be there a time after time? And it, there's so much more to the universe than just, I can perceive what's going on around me. Because well, we, so much is going on out there. We are life. Yeah. And we are of this earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this earth is alive. Yes. We are the life on the earth, right? Because when you look at the earth as a whole, it's like us. 
It's a body with a bunch of cells in it. You know? Yeah. And then you go even deeper to us. What about our cells? What about the cells inside our cells? You know, it's, you can zoom in and zoom out. And at the very end, we were all the same single thing that went. Poof, yeah. And just spread out. Yeah. Well, and that's, and that's the, the universal oneness that we're talking about. It's yeah. like, it doesn't, it, it's like just being here is enough. Yeah. I, I, enjoy it. You know, and even looking at other people and being like, we're the same. We came from the same thing. We're, we're all part of the same thing. It, it has given me a new like sympathy and love for yeah. my neighbors because we are all of the same consciousness about or of the same yeah. breath. Absolutely. Yeah. I, th- I think that's the point. I think we're supposed to spend our time here better understanding each other. 